There's a river of air thousands of feet above our head called the jet stream, and new research shows that the peak winds in the jet stream are getting faster as the atmosphere warms. Surprisingly, our finding uh, shows that it's not really the temperature, but it's the moisture. NCAR scientist Osamu Miyawaki says the warmer the atmosphere gets, the more moisture it can hold. So more heat leads to more water vapor, which leads to faster winds. His study shows that with every degree of warming, the peak jet stream winds increase by 2%. He says we could see wind speeds near 250 miles per hour if climate change continues unchecked and the atmosphere warms by one more degree. That could contribute to more extreme weather like hail, tornadoes, and flash floods, and even downslope wind events like the one that led to the Marshall Fire in December of 2021. The faster these winds aloft are, the more potential and energy there could be going into these downslope wind events that cause 100 miles per hour gusts, and if, if it's combined with really dry conditions, it could lead to fire risk. The jet stream also happens to be about the height that airplanes travel. Miyawaki says faster peak winds would create more mixing in the air. And that mixing or eddying motion uh, over time begins to grow into larger waves. And that's those waves are what we feel as turbulence or uh, rough motion. In airplanes. Especially impacting a place like Denver, which is already known for bumpy liftoffs and landings. We're locally in a very important region to detect this and understand what's what's going to happen with the projection. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.